Hello, I would like to introduce the new features of Smart Assemblies. The first feature that we added into Smart Assemblies is the ability to insert the gravity point. So first you have to go to Shop Join Configurations and uh, here we have added possibility to insert the gravity point. After uh, selecting this feature you can uh, uh, save and close the dialog after we are ready to create assembly. Now the tool uh, created a new assembly. Uh, at the same time, we can see the gravity point um, element. Also, let's check the front view. And here also we can find uh, this uh, gravity point uh, family. Actually, if you want, you can modify this family because uh, this is uh, generic models um, uh, family. And uh, if you want, you can uh, change the design of this family if it's necessary. One more feature, right now the tool can calculate element mass if I select um, any connection or any hosted or nested element we can see additional parameter element mass and here you will get the mass of the element so now if we have um, a part list schedule uh, we can go to the fields and we can add additional element mass parameter. We can use this parameter in the sorting and grouping. Also, we would like to calculate totals in the end. So now this table will be used as a template in, in our um, assembly schedules. So if I'm coming back again to my project, I can press on the bit assemblies and we can go to the part lists. So as you see, element mass uh, parameter is already used in assembly schedule and uh, the mass of every element will be calculated and it will be summed in the end. One more new feature that we added into Smart Assemblies is that you can rotate um, the elements in the assembly views. Let's say we will create assembly for this element. Okay, now let's show the, the views. So as you can see in the front view, uh, right now the steers they are going from uh, left uh, top corner to the right bottom corner and the same we can check for example in the top side view so if we would like we can change uh, presentment of uh, those elements so we can just select the element uh, we can go to edit assembly we can select um, assembly origins uh, so th this arrow, uh, those arrows will show the orientation and the green one, it shows the front view of element. Now we can rotate this arrow and uh, we can finish editing mode. After this we have to pick uh, and we have to just to select assembly and press on update assemblies. And that's it, we can check the views.